if you are hitting any problem in AWS bill where you got a bill, unexpected bill, and you don't know what that bill is or how to troubleshoot any billing issues, or if you're working on a free to your account and don't know that even though it's a free, you might be charged for some, some, some services. So be careful in how to, how to troubleshoot and what things you need to put in place. Also, if you're using on generative AI solution or service like Bedrock and being using uh, the service called uh, the knowledge base or a feature within um, AWS Bedrock, which is a knowledge base, then you must be watching this video carefully, very carefully. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to talk about a issue which we encountered where we got a bill of $30. It was a very minor amount, but then even though we put a lot of checks and things in place, we set all the billing alerts and some things were overlooked, missed, and I don't want you to hit any problems like that or, or solve them, something which you or, or any issues like that you can do. So we're going to talk about uh, how to look at the bill that you might be getting, even if it's a free account that you might be using for testing purpose, how to reach out and find out the, which service might be using that, that much amount and on which region you might be using that, and then how to go and, triple, and, go and clear that uh, service if you're not using them, that service. Also, some of the checks that you should be doing and setting up a billing alert alarm, uh, all those things and how to reach out to AWS support in case if you need in a situation where you're not to troubleshoot. All this is covered in this video. Now, just to give you some reference, this video has been taken from our training program, which is AWS uh, job oriented program, where we go deeper and cover all these things and was in, first encountered by us, but a lot of guys connected it with this issue. So we thought it will be worth sharing or will sharing as well. And so there might be some references about the training, skip them or ignore them, but fast forward. Some things you already know, then fast forward or skip that part and come straight to the point as well. Also, one more thing is that uh, if you're new to this channel, if you're new to me, my name is Atul. I've been working in IT for more than close to two and a half decade. Uh, last more than a decade now in cloud and last more than five, six years are more on multi-cloud and last two, three years on more on implementing generative AI, AI and machine learning and all these things you'll be learning on this channel. So if you're first time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, let's go straight on the video, which is about troubleshooting or looking at your bill in AWS cloud. Let's go and watch it now here. Hey there, um, this is Atul from team K29 Academy. And in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about how to handle your AWS bill. Even though it's a free account, that doesn't mean that you'll get everything free. There's a possibility of might be charging. A lot of guys didn't know, don't know that. I didn't know that when I started my career back in 2000 uh, or in I, like in AWS. But I started being working on AWS, uh, like IT for like year 2000, so last, close to two and a half decades in, in, in IT. But the last, uh, when in, uh, more than a decade back when I started, AWS said it's free, but not all services are free. So I just want to retrade this multiple times and what to do, how to troubleshoot, how to handle this uh, billing part as well, even in case you encounter anything or if you've not done everything that we have mentioned just to give you and maybe this is because i encountered myself i made the mistake of my own which i've been doing but some someone in my team i uh, didn't do the things we had an account which we recently created in i'm talking recording this in 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 august and just a month back someone in my team created an account but they did they forgot to set the billing and how to troubleshoot situations like that i just want to reiterate where to find this this is i'm recording this in our AWS for beginners program within the AWS beginners program in the module one you cover the AWS basics and below that you have all the hands-on labs and as soon as you create a free account we recommend everyone to watch this free or create a free account but immediately after that create a cloud watch CloudWatch and billing alert so and set some um, notification saying that in a day, if your bill goes more than a dollar, you set an email or whatever limit you want to set it for how many days we cover all this. And so that you get notified if let's suppose you left something running or some you created something service you deleted and, and it's still something hanging around you didn't clean it properly or AWS documentation was, bit, was missing, how to do that as well. Also, I also created another video make sure you watch this also immediately after this video which is how to check aws bill and reach out to support in case if you need any help as well and in this particular video i'm going to cover this part which is how to troubleshoot any billing issue and um, any because this is the video going to come here and i encountered a problem and it took me a little bit time to understand why the problem happened it took almost a day but eventually we got it and and second thing is i made a mistake which i'll talk about as well how you can avoid any of those as well so first is when you create an account 
free account even though it's a free account you come and look at the billing and some of those things you probably already know so you can skip and fast forward or skip this part as well so I'm going to come and look at billing and cost management and that is where you'll be coming and seeing this whole bill now billing that happens it's always a global service which means it will be globally even though you have created some account in for example us east us west india uh, uk europe wherever or canada wherever you create the billing will always be in global which is they they put it under us east not virginia but it's global and that's where all the different services will be coming here as well so when i came it gave me a 30 dollar bill um, and I only used it for this is I said is August and it's only for how many days five ten days I think on ninth or tenth I've already spent thirty dollars for something we usually very very particular about deleting the services we should not have spent more than a couple of cents less than a dollar which should never ha happen and when we looked at uh, first of all when you look at the price this is where you can see so if you look at July it was zero and then August suddenly we got August zero 2024 so when I came and looked at First thing is you can filter it based on service and blue mark is August 8th. And if you look at, I'm spending uh, $24 on Amazon search, open search and SageMaker was just 85 cents. We, we spent deployed some big applications. We, we deployed a very large machine to deploy a model, everything. It was just $85. We also did a bedrock uh, service in that we deployed a cloud, a, a machine learning a model, foundation model, and it again points, uh, I think six cents. It's very, very cheap. Um, I think it's six cents or 60 cents or whatever. And uh, then we did bedrock also for knowledge management. And that was again, very five cents and pretty much, and rest all other might be some taxes or something. So just overall this much, but this was this open search and I never created an open search service, but then I realized, um, then I asked him what they might've done and looking at, is it because related to SageMaker? Is it Claude? So straight away, you can filter it based on this now here but then again your service might be created even though it's a open search it could be in any region so first you identify what service is being used but then you go and look at which region is being created or is it multiple regions so if you look it's all in us east one uh, so we need to look at open search in us east one and that's what i was trying uh, so i went into open search so what you need to do is go to like that now you know open search and it's in um it's in us east you go come here and look at open amazon open search service And when you do that, it's going to look at, and this is where I was looking for, there was nothing, there was a domain was zero, and uh, the scheduled update, everything was zero, nothing was there. I looked at this, all these things, and um, to be frank, um, I did open search long time back. I didn't even recollect that. And again, so I thought it could be a region. So region was also US East one. And then after a lot of to and fro, and then after uh, reaching out to uh, AWS support, which I'll explain you as well, how you can reach out to AWS support. I reached and realized that, and I miss, and that is where you over, I overlooked. There's a managed cluster, which means um, uh, you manage the infrastructure, but you also have a serverless, and I totally overlooked the serverless version of this. So if I go to serverless, and that is where I realized, oh, there is a bedrock knowledge. So I'll give you a background. We were working on um, like a generative AI applications, AI and machine learning program. In that we were building bedrock application. And within bedrock, there were multiple modules, multiple things. One of them is bringing your own data and then developing your own solutions on that. And that's where you use knowledge base. And that knowledge base was using external data source. And that was bringing the data and putting into a vector database to for vector and all those things. So that's where vector search was using and it was using creating this service. And it didn't know that it was not in the documentation and like that might be the thing. So first and most important is you realize it's running, you just select and delete this. So you select this part from here. Let me minimize this my, myself. And you select this part here and then you click on delete here because that's what you need to delete. You write type confirm and click on delete here. Now, so it basically, uh, so I'll pause this recording and let it delete now here. So I get a message saying the request to delete a collection uh, bedrock knowledge base is has been submitted successfully. We need to make sure that it's being actually clean and it's not just saying. So we'll come back again here onto the serverless and on dashboard, we'll serverless dashboard, we'll see there's no collection right now here. And then capacity management, all of them are zero here. So that's pretty much was I was not doing. Uh, but but don't settle it here go back and look at uh, collections are zero dashboard is zero rest all things are zero right now on here so there's nothing here now 
as I said, don't settle. Once you come, then you know that you've deleted. You come and look at here, and all those things are deleted as well. Now, I still want you to do go then and, and keep an eye. There are a few things you should be doing is then you go back to um, the billing. And what you need to do is you need to go and keep an eye on bill. So come tomorrow or next 24 hours and you should not see any price additional. You can filter it based on day. And so let's suppose my bill is right now 30. Tomorrow it should also stay 30 unless it's something else. So then I will dig deeper into why that billing went into less than or more than 30 if it in case it went. So a little bit slow. It's coming up, it might be my internet issue here because I'm recording it. So if you look at right now, it's on costing is 30.73. And tomorrow you come here and you can even filter it. I think day wise, there is a way to filter on day wise. Um, I think account service, no. We'll come to that uh, point tomorrow. Let me minimize. Uh, so 30.7. Uh, now, a few other things you should be doing, which we have not done. We have not set up budgets. We have not set up billing alert. And this is what we recommend and teach. That's what is sometimes people overlook it. Uh, so first of all, uh, then what you need to do is there's a documentation link below that. I'm creating a separate video. I think there's already a video that covers how to check or oh, sorry, uh, create a billing alarm and you follow these documentation. I'm going to create all this in a separate video, which is about how to monitor your estimated charges using CloudWatch. CloudWatch is another service. How do you set budgets and then how to do any anomaly detection like that. If you see pricing is an issue, you teach you do and the other thing is then you need to also reach out to support the way i did it uh, we'll be setting up i'll create a separate video on that so if you have any problems like that what you're going to do is you come here or sorry in this account and you say that this is support um so let me see where the support went it should be in one of those things um question uh, sorry if this is here you go in question mark and say look is the support center i'm going to go on to the support and I'm going to ask this question. And I said is, I'll come and said, uh, I couldn't find it. I overlooked at the at end of the day, we are human being. And again, my team is human being as well. We sometimes miss it, but this is how you avoid problems like these. So if you have, a, whether it's a technical issue or an accountant billing, in my case, it was accountant billing. And within billing now, I want to say that maybe, um, no, I think probably one of them and maybe i'll pick up a pick up a ticket and then we'll say that create a case so what you're going to do is you're going to come and create a case there will be already a documentation select and say it's for accountant billing and within accountant billing you see which service so now at least you know that it's a service which is open search so in my case i raised and say maybe i didn't find open search so i think i don't remember to be frank so this was about billing so no sorry it was billing and within category is that payment or whatever dispute charge or whatever you want to say and then you say the question. So I'm going to show you mine uh, because before that I did some cases and say, oh, no, I think there was my cases. So I'll go back into my cases. Um, yeah, so this was this was the one which I I raised, which is open search because I never used open search. I didn't realize that behind the scene it was using. That was a good learning. Um, so I asked and because I saw, I knew that I was using bedrock uh, and bedrock behind the scene, it was not mentioned to delete it. Again, lessons learned. We are going to update in our bedrock training now this part but this is also said i'm using open search oh no sorry this was the answer they've gave me so they've been charged i gave them all the details and then instead i'm used bedrock but there was someone else encountered the same thing when they were used bedrock it's being charging uh, the same thing i got a reddit comment and i mentioned that about where the bedrock but i couldn't find and the information i overlooked was that in open search i didn't go into the serverless i only went into open uh, like uh, the managed server and so some other guys were also encountering and then they came back with these options which was good uh, good thing to do a good way to learn and they're pretty prompt in that way uh, so that's pretty much from my side lessons learned and do it's end of the day 30 dollars you can request for cancelling they will probably cancel this as well i'm going to update saying that i've deleted i'm going to monitor i'm going to ask my team as well uh, put them and explain them to set the bell alerts billing idly i should have done it or i should have overlooked it's my thing but i hope you learned something new let me know below this comment video what you learned are you going to do that what are you aware some of these things especially about uh if you're using free tier you know that free is not all the services are free but you should be able to perform all these labs within just a dollar or under a dollar or so also second thing is that uh, bedrock Behind the scene, there might be something happening. So just come and speak to us if you're hitting any problems. Uh, behind the scene bedrock, 
if you're using knowledge base, it, now you know, of course, you know that it's using vector uh, databases, but I didn't you know that it was using open search and within open search, it was a serverless version. So those things are lessons learned, but that's how we learn. That's how we grow. Make sure you watch this video and also go through and set billing alert. And if you have a problem like that, do let us know. Otherwise, I'll see you in another video. Atul from Team K2 Academy. Take care and bye for now. Thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the video. I have something special to share if you loved our content today. Then you are absolutely going to adore what's coming next. We have a free class and the best part is it's available for everyone. This class goes in depth into the topics we touched on today, offering you detailed insights, comprehensive explanation, and even some exclusive content that wasn't covered in this video. All you have to do is just click the link in the description below, or if you are just starting out, just type k21academy.com slash aws02. Now all the information inside the video that we will be covering is listed here. And for the class, just click on the date, enter your name, enter your email ID, enter your phone number and click on register now. Then you will be redirected to this page. Also you can add this to your calendars. So I promise this is something that you don't want to miss. So go ahead, click on the link and step into the world where learning knows no boundaries. Till then, keep enjoying. I'll see you in the next video.